H Bomber guy put out a new video today. Um, breaking down a very long video. I actually watched the whole thing surprisingly. He's a very good uh, YouTuber and I actually really enjoy his content. He's able to um, keep you entertained during his videos. Now, he actually went after um, Steve Crowder of the Louder with Crowder show uh, in his video talking about Bill Nye and how people went after Bill Nye for his comments about gender and it spurred the skeptic community to absolutely lose their shit. Now, what you're going to see is H-Bomb um, basically just ripping Steven Crowder a new asshole. You can check out that video here. Speaking of denying the science of climate change, I made a joke about Steven Crowder in the last video and a bunch of people went, ooh, is he gonna do Crowder next? And I hate to disappoint my... fan. So, let's take a look at some of Stevie's work about Nye's recent work. That's an awful I'll retake that. Let's have a look at some of Stevie's recent work about Nye's rec- I said I did it again. I've saved myself the job of really having to go through his claims about the gender episode because I've covered all the main ones already and as we've already covered, these people have a habit of repeating each other's points. He was- he was- he's making the case that gender exists on a spectrum. By the way, very different if you go back to his old show, he did say that chromosomes determine gender. If you go back to the episodes when we were kids. So he's done a 180 on So instead I'll point out that his real beef with Nye comes from how Bill's vocal about climate change and doing something about it, and Crowder is sure that the science doesn't support man-made climate change, and he has some counter-arguments that he's sure are good. And then you have evidence, and the evidence disagrees with your worldview, so you deny the evidence, and then along right. with that, you deny the authorities that are providing the evidence. You will not deny the authorities. <laughs> now we're going to be talking- Eee! A talk in a German voice authoritarian joke. Why that's almost as good as knowing the science! Uh, who wants to take a bet with me that at some point he's recently made a video accusing the left of calling everyone Nazis and how unproductive that is? Just kidding. I've seen more than one of his videos, so I know he does that. The left has been so busy calling everyone Nazis. Who would dare invoke needless comparison to the Nazis? What sort of imbecile would dare do something like that? Ah no, he's just talking authoritatively in a German voice. That's not necessarily invoking comparison to the Nazis for political points. Completely unrelatedly, just you know, nothing to do with the last sentence. Here's a segment from a video that he did about Nye on climate change. Now everybody, science is political. <laughs> science is political. Incorrect. First, let me draw your attention to the definition of science. The intellectual and practi practical activity- Oh my god. I forgot that he actually cites the dictionary definition of science to try and avoid accepting the basic fact that, like, in order to stop the world from melting down, scientists might have to try and influence policy. Wait, 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 no, this gets worse, doesn't it? M merging politics and science, not allowing them to exist uh, autonomously of each other, can only serve to alter science's trajectory to the path of truth. Okay? That, that, that's the main purpose here, and Bill Nye wants that specifically. Some examples? I know it seems tired and old hat, but let's go to Nazi Germany. That's kind of a prime example of political science. It also, of course, led to guessing a few individuals. You heard me right. If scientists try to make the government listen to the effects of global warming and do something about it, it's the same as the Holocaust. With Steven Crowder, it's honestly a laugh a minute, watching him flip-flop between comparing everyone he doesn't like to the Nazis and their genocides, and complaining that way too many people are comparing things to the Nazis nowadays, especially those leftists, who are the only ones that do it. But where are the other scientists speaking up? Kind of like w with Islam. We're all, you know, we say, where are the Muslims speaking up w against the acts of terrorism, not only against terrorism? Weird how in the same video, where Crowder goes from saying how dangerous political science was to the Jews, he then, for seemingly no reason, decides to start spreading the, like, legit lie that Muslims don't condemn terror attacks. You know, I expected this video to contain lies about Bill Nye and the science, I did not expect it to contain lies about Muslims. I guess when you only have two talking points, you gotta find a way to fit them in somehow, right? You know, Steve, there are many gigantic lists out there of Muslims and Muslim groups that have come out against so-called Islamic terror. But I can't think of a single Muslim who's condemned global warming. Coincidence? Where are the Muslims speaking up against the acts of terrorism? <laughs> It's very weird how he has to keep quibbling about nonsense instead of easily debunking the data he says can be easily debunked. 
And when he really does get around to trying to actually debunk climate science, when he's not saying people wanting to do something about it are Nazis, he's doing such a poor job of debunking it that you don't even need me to show you the flaws in his understanding. Even racists can accept climate change is a problem that begs a solution. Problem when it comes to climate change. Yes, I agree that climate change is an actual problem and it needs to be sorted out and we do need to sort out the consummation of electricity and then I'm honestly really quite stunned that in the middle of a video complaining about the bisexual agenda, spreading racist lies, scaremongering about immigration, and whose description has to defend the fact that she says Bill Nye has a Jewish nose, Lady Stormfront still manages to have a better stance on climate change than Steven Crowder. That's the lowest bar I've ever seen. And Crowdy Wowdy has just tripped over it and fallen into a well. And it's not just rage that puts Crowder to shame. If you want to see his claims get debunked in more detail, there are many good videos out there by the uh, seminal and personally inspirational Pothole of 54 and... <gasps> Armoured Skeptic? Oh, that's right. We just came full circle. Out of the Antarctic ice sheet showed a net gain of 112 billion tons of ice per year. But you didn't mention that there's also a net loss for the entire planet. Greenland also has a major ice sheet. The total net ice loss for Greenland is an average of 269 billion tons of ice every year. So the planet suffers a net loss of 147 billion tons of ice every year. You see, Skeptic was wrong about most of the issues he brought up about Nye's show because he doesn't really have a grasp of the related science. But he's right enough about climate science to know Crowder's full of shit. Support independent progressive media by leaving a subscription down below, leave a like and share the video, help us out on Patreon or you can donate in other ways. Links are in the description down below. We are fighting Trump tooth and nail and we will continue to do so with your help.